Welcome back guys. Another quick review for you. So we got another ice fishing reel here today. This is a real budget reel. Uh, I picked this up for about $3 uh, on AliExpress. This is the 68.4B model by Z Jiang. I don't know. But yeah, 68.4B is probably how you can find it. I'll also have a link down below. So it's a pretty basic reel, completely made of ABS plastic, not the most durable. The construction seems a little bit uh, less than desirable. Um, so here's obviously your reel seat. It's just a cheap piece of sheet metal, pot metal. It's got some sharp edges on there. Um, you have this knob right here, just spring loaded. I think the idea behind this was that you could loosen the drag um, when you're in free spool mode that you could use this to try and stop backlashing of the spool. What I would say in practicality with this reel that probably isn't going to work unless you have something incredibly heavy like a very heavy jig um, because this is just so crude and um, just not just doesn't work well it's gritty inconsistent it's not a great design. Um, this is the drag control, so after you, you'd actually have to loosen this to be able to drop your line down, and then you would set the drag each time it gets down there. Um, there is a guide for the line to come off the spool, and then there's this, which is the anti-backlash slash clicker. I'm not really sure how this is actually supposed to work. Maybe someone in the comments could explain it to me. It seems a little flawed to me, but you can see when it's off... The reel can work in either direction. There's no clicking. When it's on, you have clicking, but you can't back spool. Um, so typically on a reel, you'd be able to back spool, but there'd be resistance uh, based off of the drag. That way a fish wouldn't snap your line. In this case, when you put this on, it's not going to let any more line out of here. Um, so you could potentially snap a fish off. So... You know, I don't know that I could recommend this. It's super cheap. Maybe you buy one and you throw it in your box in case your buddy forgets his reel or one of your reels goes down and you just need something. Or maybe you have a rod that sits idle almost like a tippet um, and you're not really using it that much. It's in the water. You put it down once and it stays there. Then maybe this would be an option for you that's affordable. But um, it's the 68 4B model. Like I said, uh, not my favorite. But uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you make an informed decision. Take care.